Hey toy fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we are once again taking a look at those mighty heroes in a half shell. That's right, we've got another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle review for you today. And today I'm taking a look at the 2014 movie version Raphael figure released by Playmates. This figure of course coincides with the release of the film this past August. And I purchased this Ninja Turtle figure in a group pack that include all four turtles. It was exclusive to Target. However, you can get Raphael individually if you'd like. Let's go ahead and start by taking a look at that packaging. Alright guys, taking a look at the packaging. As we come across the front of the box, what you're going to see is an image of the four turtles from the film on the left. You will see a window box packaging that features all four turtles from the film, along with their accessories going from left to right. You can then see that this box is made up of various shades of green with the Ninja Turtles logo down in there at the bottom. And off to the right side, it does say that this is the Ninja Turtles Group Pack by Playmates. Flipping this package around now, you do see in the upper left hand corner some images of the turtles from this movie. You've got the logo for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as well as a bio. Go ahead and pause now to read that. On the right, you do have the images of all the other figures in this wave. And at the bottom, you do have a complete look at the figures that are inside this packaging. Alright guys, well that's the packaging. Let's go ahead and get back to the Ninja Turtle that we're reviewing today. Alright guys, here we have Raphael out of the packaging. And overall, I think this is a really awesome Turtles figure and a great representation of Raphael from that movie. As we take a look at the sculpting on this figure, you're going to see that there is some nice detail sculpted into the bandana on top, including on the back and on his shell, on the wraps going around his waist. He's even got a lot of skin texturing, which looks great. And look at the front of his shell, all the lines sculpted in there, the wraps on the legs, the uh, tattered leather here on the front, and the paintwork is absolutely fantastic too. He's got paint on his toes, on his ankles, on his legs, on the wraps. That little silver ring has been painted. He's got red on his leg and on his arm. I mean, there's a nice amount of detail in the Raphael figure. He's a bit different from the Donatello and the Leonardo that we've already reviewed too, because they had some features that weren't painted, but this Raphael figure pretty much has everything painted that could be. Now that's probably because Raphael doesn't have as much stuff sculpted on him as the other figures did, but since he doesn't have as much stuff and he is completely painted, he looks really, really good. And he's a great looking figure, which I'm really happy about because Raphael is actually my favorite Ninja Turtle figure. This movie version Raphael figure comes with the two sides that you see here. Each one is identical to the other, and they've got some nice sculpting on the handle on both sides. And then of course just the blades or tongs, whatever you want to call them, coming off the end. So it looks pretty good. And both of these sides fit very nicely into his hands. They just plug in, and they plug in. Now unfortunately, just like on the Donatello figure, this Raphael figure doesn't actually feature any weapon storage. So as I pull a Psy off, there's really nowhere for me to stick this weapon in anywhere on the figure. So uh, it's a little disappointing that when he has the size out of his hands or when he's not in action mode, uh, you just don't have anywhere to put these weapons and have to set them to the side. Raphael's articulation is pretty consistent with what we've seen from the line so far. He does have a full 360 degree rotation at the head. He does have a 360 degree rotation at the shoulder and a hinge that allows his arm to move up and out that far and back down. He does have a single jointed elbow that bends down that far and bends back that far. And there's a 360 degree rotation at the elbow. There's no finger or wrist articulation, unfortunately. And that articulation is continued on the other side. There's no waist articulation or ab crunch. He does have a hip joint that allows legs to move forward that far and move back that far. He does have a single jointed knee that bends back that far and forward that far. He does have a full 360 degree rotation at the hip as well as a 360 degree rotation at the knee. And that completes the articulation for this Raphael figure. Taking a look at the height now, we can see that this Raphael does stand at just under 5 inches tall. For some size comparison, here we have 2014 Raphael compared to the 2003 animated series Raphael figure. And here he is compared to the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Battle Shell series Raphael. And finally, here he is compared to the 6 inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite series Wolverine. Alright toy fans, well that's my review of the 2014 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie version Raphael figure. And overall, I am very, very pleased with this figure. My only real gripe about this guy is that he doesn't have any wrist articulation, and I wish his hips were a little more free, uh, but that wrap around the waist does kind of constrict him just a bit. But he's got some excellent sculpting, he's got some great paintwork, nothing looks like it's missing on this particular figure, he's got some great articulation overall, and he's really just got a great mass to him. Now granted the Raphael in the movie was also much larger than his brothers, but this figure feels really nice and solid, and I'm very, very happy to have this Raphael figure. If you can only get one figure from the entire wave, this is the one you guys want to go after. So I highly, highly recommend this guy. Thanks so much for watching this review, guys. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, and subscribe. Also be sure to hit me up on Twitter at D21Beast. Thanks for watching, and cowabunga!